Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 6, lesson 3. Hands on, use place value to divide. This is the first lesson in which we are going to divide using long division like this. Okay. Whenever we are dividing two numbers like this 39 divided by 3, Boys, there are some rules which you have to memorize, like the first number, which we call the dividend, comes inside the division sign. This is another division sign we use for long division. And the second number here, it comes outside the division sign and we call it divisor. So the first one dividend inside the division sign, the second one and the smaller number is divisor outside the division sign. When we divide and we complete the number left at the end, we call it remainder. And the answer of division, we call it quotient. So guys, you have to memorize these four things. Okay, now how we divide? We have a one digit divisor. So we just take one digit from both, from 39 we will take only the first digit, which is 3. If the first digit is less than the divisor, less than 3, then we take both digits together. But now, this 3, this first digit is equal to this, so we don't need 9 now. We don't need the second digit now. So in that case, what we do, we have to think 3 times what, which we will write here, is equal to 3 or less. So 3 times 1, this is the way of writing, we write 1 above the 3 because we are dividing 3 now. So 3 times 1 is equal to 3, which comes here. Then the next step is minus 3 minus 3, 0. Okay, we get the 0, it means we finish the first digit. Now we'll bring this 9 down here, okay, to divide. Now, the same thing, what we did here, we'll do for 9, 3 times what is equal to 9? 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And again, minus, like we did here, 9 minus 9, 0. So, the remainder is 0, and the quotient is 13. Okay, let me show you the answers here, so you can copy them. See the first one, 3 times 1, then 3 times 3. Okay, so we were dividing 39 with 3 here, they are showing you, and the quotient is 39. Actually, it means like we have something which is 39, and we are dividing it into 3 groups. So how much each group will get? Okay. So we are dividing into three groups, and the quotient was 13. So in each group, we have 13 lots. Okay? And if you count them all, it's 39. Next page here, again, this time we will have a remainder here. We are dividing 68 by 5. Again, we'll take only the first digit. Forget the second digit now. Just imagine 5 times what is equal to 6 or less. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. 5 times 2 is equal to 10, which is more than 6. So we can't take more than 6. Either we can take equal to 6 or less. But it should be closer. Okay? It should not be 5 times 0 is equal to 0. It should be closer and less uh, or equal. So we'll take this one, 5 times 1 equals 5. We write 1 above here, 5 times 1 equals what? Equals 5 there. Then the next step, we minus 6 minus 5, 1. Okay, we finish the first digit. It's turned for the second digit now. We bring the 8 down. With this one, it becomes 18. Now we have to think 5 times what is equal to 18 or less and closer. We know that 5 times 3 is 15, and 5 times 4 is 20. 20 is more than 18. We can't take that. So what we do, we take this one, which is less and closer. 
5 times 3, 15. So we write 3 up here. 5 multiplied by 3 equals to 15. 18 minus 15, 3. And the remainder is 3. And this is the way of writing the remainder, R3. Because the remainder is 3, so we write R3 here. So the quotient is 13 and remainder is 3. Here it is. 13, remainder 3. Now, explain what it means to have a remainder when dividing. In division, there may be remaining ones after the division has taken place. Next page, guys. It's uh, independent practice. Okay. You have to solve all these questions by yourself and then match your answers from this video. This one they're sure asking you to draw. No need to draw. Just divide it like this. Okay. Uh, here, one tenth because one tenth in the answer, eight ones and zero remainder. Okay, there are 64 stickers each student gets. So 64 divided by 8. See boys here, the first digit is less than the divisor, less than 8. Even 8 times 1 is equal to 8 more than 6. And we can't take more than 6. Either we can equal take equal to 6 or less than 6. So in that case, when the first digit is less than the divisor, what we do, we take both digits together. And think that 8 times what is equal to 64 or less. We know that 8 times 8 is equal to 64. So we write 8 above the 4, above the second digit, because we took both digits together. 8 times 8 equals 64, and 64 minus 64, 0. So when you divide 64 with 8, you get 8 students. There are 73 party favors. Each bag can hold nine. The same thing again. The first digit less than the divisor. So you take two digits together. You have to think nine times what is equal to 73 or less than that. Nine times eight, 72. Nine times nine, 81. You can't take 81 because it's more than 73. So you'll take nine times eight, which is 72. And you write eight above the second digit because this time you took two digits together. If you are just dividing by one digit, so you write above it. Okay. Okay, here it is. A seal trainer has 47 seal crates. There are four seals to find. The number of seal crates. Each seal would receive many drill. The picture, Mary drew the picture at the right to model 47 divided by 4. When you divide 47 by 4, you get 11 and the remainder 3. But they draw it wrong. They draw this 1, 2, and 3 extra here. It should be remainder as 3. And each group should be equal, 11. Like this, guys. This one. 11, 11, 11. 4 groups because we are dividing by 4. Okay. And the remainder is 3, 1, 2, 3. That's right. So, guys, uh, write this division for this question, this multiplication, this one. And then this one, you can pause the video to write it. I hope you understand the lesson. If you really understand the lesson, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Sal. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.